Hey folks, Hugh here, and I just want to tell you about my cool new plugin that we just finished, and it's called the G Alerts Reader. And if you were using Google Alerts before and you were using the RSS feeds, then you might have lost some, you know, some data, some functionality, some content, whatever you were using it for, you lost it when they turned off the RSS feeds a couple months ago. So I just got to thinking because I noticed that they were still sending the email alerts. So I said, well, why don't we just, you know, create a plugin that logs in and, get, and reads the email alerts and puts them back into RSS feeds. So that's what we did. So we've got RSS feeds now for all. Basically, whatever you want to do, you can just create alerts and you'll get the RSS feeds. Let me show you how we do that. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and just add... A new, add the plug in here. Install that baby. Installs nice and quickly. Activates and then you got first thing that you're going to want to do here is just put in the license key and the license email. And we validate the plug in and then once we do that, we're now presented with another screen where we're asked for an, a Gmail account, email address, and password. So what I'm going to recommend is to use this account is to just create a new Gmail account. And it's easy enough to do. You just go to Google Gmail, and if you're logged in, you got to log out. So I've signed out and I'm just going to go create account right here. Agree to the terms and service and go to the next step. And they're going to want, you know, a photo and then I'm just going to go ahead and skip that for now. Because what I'm going to do right away, <laughs> I'm just going to go to google.com slash alerts and set up some alerts. See, I'm already logged in. It's going to deliver them to my new address. If you're using this for my tools like ICC Express or any of those, what you might want to do is just use one Google account for a number of related keywords in a particular niche. So you can draw content for one blog from a whole bunch of different alerts on one account. And that keeps everything really straight, really kind of aligned throughout your whole content scheme. So I guess just for to make it easy, I'm going to use the dog niche. So I'm going to start here with just dog. You know, that's huge. But you can already see that it's got stuff here. And it's kind of like the reader, but it isn't really the reader. So we'll just go ahead and create that alert. You might as well do as it happens because then that makes them... To be honest, I don't think it really matters. Let's keep it once. Let's keep it the default once a day. You're still going to get them. Create that alert, and then create another one. This one I'll say German Shepherd. And you can see there's some already. We'll say create a new alert. Uh, so that might be enough. Let me see if I can think of a couple more. Okay, I had a couple more uh, dog rescue, dog adoption. I well, would we'll just stick with those for now. So now I'm going to go back to the G Alerts Reader plugin, and I'll just put in that new email address that I just created. And the password, and then notice I put the entire Gmail account here. And so then we'll just go ahead and submit that. It takes a second, but look at that. It's come back already with content and six different keywords that I just added. We've got 10 stories about dog, five about German Shepherd, eight about dog training, so on and so forth. Now what we've got here is the form of R RSS XML files, which are very similar to the ones that um, Google used to run with the RSS feed. And it's just gonna give you the entire content the same way that the alerts feeds used to do so if we take a look at that we just copy and paste that URL and um, 
Google Chrome shows it as code. If we put it in uh, Firefox, they, they apply an XSL style sheet to it, so it looks nice. Let me show you that. So once again, back at the uh, GAlerts plugin page here, I can either right click on one of these links and copy the link address, or I can actually just go in the text box and copy it from here. And if I go to Firefox, and you can see it with a style sheet attached. And then you can see it's a very nice RSS XML feed. Now if you're using it with my software, like ICC Express, you can also uh, curate content. Let me show you. Okay, here we are in ICC Express, and if I wanted to just go ahead and add a new feed, and I can just paste that URL right in here, parse the RSS feed. We've got our stories here, and just add that, and done. And then so when we want to curate, you can go to the RSS feeds here, and we'll be able to select that feed. Google Alert German Shepherd, what I just added, and now we've got news here, and you'll see all these same stories that we just saw in the XML feed. And then we can curate with that. So it's pretty awesome. Link here, this one has basically, it's an RSS feed with a pointer to all the other RSS feeds. So if you have an application that can read, uh, read that, then you can list out all your feeds in that or whatever. Okay, so that's the G Alerts plugin. That's how you use it. That's how you install it. The one couple things that I that I'm going to suggest in using this. <clears throat> one, I'm going to say it's definitely better to create a new account the way I did in this video and just start your alerts from scratch rather than trying to log into an old Gmail account that has a ton of stuff. And it could actually hang your server if you do that. So you really don't want to do that. Try to start with a new account and start fresh. Two, use a dedicated account. Don't have multiple people log into the same Gmail account from multiple locations or don't, like if you have remote access to different servers and plug and stuff, don't target the same Gmail account with multiple servers and multiple VAs or whatever because they're going to shut off the access uh, from like an unauthorized login thing and then you're not going to be able to switch it back on. And three, well enjoy the G Alerts Reader plugin folks. Have fun with awesome content. I know you're going to dig it. Okay, alright, so enjoy. Let us know what you think about it and uh, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. It's Hugh out.